Hi, I'm Debbie Marcou, host of the Mortgage Mom Radio Show. And what are we doing today? Well, we're getting into the second set of our Homebuyer Workshop series. So we're going to start at 201. But if you haven't caught Homebuyer Workshops 101 through 106, go back and watch those right here on YouTube at the Mortgage Mom Radio channel. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it. What are you waiting for? You're going to get all the education that you need to become a homeowner, and then we're going to start our refinance series. So it's something that you want to stay with us throughout your adventure of being a homeowner. So again, subscribe to the channel, go back and watch 101 through 106 if you haven't done that already, or stay right here with me and let's get through 201. What are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about how do you choose the right real estate agent for your transaction. So we wanna make sure that we're getting you through your very first home purchase with the very best experience. So let's go ahead and get started. And you guys are gonna see some of these PowerPoint slides and only hear my voice, and that's okay because we want you to learn, we want you to see what we're doing. So once again, what are we talking about today? Contacting a realtor. How do you find the best realtor for you? So one of the things that is the most important piece of the, of the puzzle is making sure that your real estate agent knows you and your family and what your needs are. This is very, very important. They need to understand what, how much can you afford? What do you need? Do you need a three bedroom? Do you need two bathrooms? Do you want a fixer? Do you want something that is move-in ready? How much money do you have available? If you go back to the old workshops, we talked about down payments. How much cash do you need? Getting a credit from the seller towards closing costs. If your real estate agent isn't working with you on those things that are important to you, then you're not with the right real estate agent. There's no reason to delay buying a home because your real estate agent tells you, I can't negotiate closing costs, or I can't get you a house in the neighborhood that you need. Let's find you a different real estate agent. So one of the other things that is really, really important for you is school districts. It, your realtor has to understand your family, like I said. Those are the most important things to know that your real estate, is, real estate agent is doing for you. Are they taking all of your needs and necessities into mind as they are pulling out the properties that they're going to take you and show you? Some of the other things is your budget. Obviously, you're gonna work with me. I'm gonna get you pre-approved. I'm gonna tell you what your maximum budget is. That doesn't mean that that's the budget that you're comfortable with monthly. So we need to work backwards and determine what is that right sales price for that correct amount of money monthly in that payment. And that is the number that your agent should be working for, towards. So if they stop and they say, well, you can qualify for 600,000 and they start selling you homes, sending you listings at 600,000, but your payment that you're comfortable with is at 500, you need to make sure that that real estate agent is working for you, that they are looking in only the area of price range that you are comfortable with. So these are some of the things that are really, really important to know about a real estate agent. Another way to pick a real estate agent is knowing that the agent that you're working for is an expert in the marketplace that you want to be in. They need to know what homes go to what school districts, where are the boundary lines. Uh, if you were to look at this house, what school will your child go to? These are very, very important pieces. If you're looking at a condominium, are those condominiums FHA approved? If you're an FHA buyer, they need to know how to pull that list. If they need help, they can call me. I'm here to help them. But they shouldn't be showing you properties that you can't buy or that you can't qualify for. Very, very important. They shouldn't be showing you homes that would be in a district or a school district that you don't want to live in. Again, something that's very, very important to you and your family. So these are all things that I would say are very important pieces that you need to make sure that you're talking to your realtor, that you are interviewing them, and that you are making sure that they are working for you. Remember, you do not pay for the real estate agent. When you are a buyer, the seller pays for the real estate agent. It comes out of the seller's cost of selling the home. Someday, you're going to be that seller and you're going to pay for that real estate agent to take care of you to sell your home, but to also take care of the buyer who is buying your home. So they are going to be paying for two real estate agents on as a seller on a sale. If you are a buyer, why would you not work with your own representation? One of the biggest mistakes that buyers will make is that they will actually go into an open house, walk through that open house, love that property, and then decide to write an offer with that listing agent. That listing agent took that listing for that seller. 
they did their fiduciary responsibility and signed that contract first with that seller. They, no matter how hard that they try to be equal, to be 50-50, to help you just as much as the seller, they're always gonna have that first obligation to that seller that they sign that contract with. Make sure that you are actually getting your own real estate agent. You're not paying for them. It's like taking an attorney for free and say, never mind, I don't need it. You do need it. So make sure that you have representation and make sure that it's your own. It is your own real estate agent. Now, you find the real estate agent on your own and they happen to have a listing that they took and they want to introduce you to that property and to that seller and you're gonna get some sort of great deal because there's gonna be some commissions cut out. Okay, another story, you're gonna call me on the side, we're gonna discuss that and determine if that's a good idea. But these are some really, really important things. So again, make sure you have your own representation. Make sure that you have uh, your real estate agent has a vested interest in you and all of the things that your family needs. Make sure that they are an expert in their marketplace. If you're looking in condominiums, make sure that they understand which ones might be under litigation right now that you can't get financing in. Make sure if you're an FHA buyer that they know which complexes that they can show you. It would be horrible for you to fall in love with a place and then find out that you can't get the financing. So make sure they're an expert in their marketplace, make sure that they have a vested interest in you, and make sure that you have your own representation. So that's the end of this workshop. Nice, quick, fast one. If you have any comments at all that you'd like to give me, put them in the comment section below. I'd be happy to respond. Feel free to call me. You can always reach me at my office at 844-935-3634. Email me, Debbie, D-E-B-B-I-E, -B -B -E, at MortgageMomRadio.com. And hey, realtors, I hope you guys like this. And if you want to be part of my team, reach out. I'm always looking for a great partner to work with, and, and I want them to be an expert in their marketplace. So if you're in an area that I don't already have a contact, let's talk and see how we can get you, know, get you on our team. Watch out for Workshop 202. What's next? Well, Workshops 101 through 106 got you guys into the loan and how to get pre-approved. Workshop 201 just got you through how do you pick that real estate agent. Workshop 202, well, we're going to be talking about what do you do after you've signed the contract. You found the home, you wrote the offer, you're in escrow, now what? So stay tuned for that one. It'll be out shortly. Have a great week. The